you may have picked up on this a little bit, but I'm kind of obsessed with build challenges in The Sims. And I do a lot of build challenges here on my YouTube channel. But there is one very popular build challenge that I've never actually tried out in a YouTube video. I have done this a few times before on my Twitch streams, but I never actually posted those on YouTube because it turned out so bad that it was embarrassing. I'm talking about a puzzle shell challenge. It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's a Sims build, but all of the different rooms are like puzzle pieces that you have to fit together. So for example, imagine if we had all these different rooms and I had to take them and try to puzzle them together somehow to be a complete house. And there's a lot of ways that you can do a puzzle shell challenge. You can make your own, you can find one on the gallery, or in my case, you could have your Twitch mods each make you a room for the puzzle. Can't really say I'd recommend that method because they'll make you rooms like this that are shaped like a shell. What is that? What is that? How is a person supposed to make a house out of this? So yeah, basically when I attempted this before, I never posted it on YouTube because this, this was a disaster and impossible. And I thought it might be fun if we tried a puzzle that was maybe a little bit more attainable. So I made myself a handful of random shaped rooms. There's some tiny ones, there's some bigger ones. I didn't add any diagonals because I already cried this morning and I don't really want to do that again. So we'll start on easy mode and maybe in the future we can try to add some more difficulty. Now the rules for this are pretty simple. Obviously we have to use every single room and I am allowed to rotate them and move them around as I see fit, but we are not allowed to delete any walls. So all of the existing walls have to stay and somehow, some way, we're gonna have to figure out a floor plan and like a way to roof this thing that actually makes sense. I was picturing this big long skinny room could maybe be a hallway? Because if I used it like that as a hallway and maybe as the front entrance, we can kind of try to add rooms around it. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is gonna be like way harder than it seems. Okay, maybe I could try to put the pieces like this somehow. Cause that looks like a normal front of a house. Oh, maybe it could be like this. Unless that's too weird. It is a little weird. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe that's fine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where to put this. Maybe I put it on the side. The back is kind of bland. I'll admit that. The back is a little bit boring. But boring might be good. Boring might be necessary for this to be not horrible. Let me see if I can put a roof on this. I don't know what each of these rooms is gonna be either because I haven't really thought that part through. Oh my god. And then like, where does the staircase go? Because you can't really fit it most places. I guess this has to be a hallway. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Let me see about the roof. <laughs> Let me see if I can actually do a roof. A lot of times in my Twitch chat, people try and call me a roofing wizard, which is very nice. And I don't think that I'm bad at roofing. I think that I'm I'm pretty decent at roofing most of the time, but I don't really want to be called a roofing wizard today because I don't, I don't feel decent at roofing. <laughs> I don't think this is going to go very well. Yeah, this room is really weird and in a bad way. Can I switch it out maybe? What if I put it over there? What if this goes in the back? Oh. No, don't do that. What if it went like this? No, 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 no. Put it in the side, put it in the side. I don't know, <laughs> maybe something like that. Maybe I can use a half wall to make it look like a chimney. I do think that we're allowed to add half walls. I usually try to avoid adding full walls in a shell challenge, but I sort of think of half walls as being more similar to a fence and that should be fine to add. Super unsure about this part. I really don't know what to do with that. That's ugly. <laughs> Like that looks bad. Like that actually looks bad. This, oh, that looks bad too. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> we might have to start over. I'm serious, we might have to start over. This is bad, this is really bad. Okay, hold on. Let me just redo, okay. We're back to square one. Let's try this again and maybe in a more logical way. So this part is kind of throwing me. In this version, I'm gonna try from the beginning to use the stuff that's throwing me off more. And we do have some pieces that kind of fit together. So maybe that could work. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I really don't know. Super, super unsure about this. Maybe the front could be like that. Oh my God, I ruined it. I made it worse. It was better before. Sorry, everybody, false alarm. This might be okay. No, that's. It's not okay. <laughs> it's horrible. I guess I just wasn't really picturing it being this wide, but maybe we can make it work and it'll seem intentional. Cause listen, right now it is by no means good. In fact, I would even argue that it is bad, but maybe, just maybe, depending on how we do this, we can pull it off. Do you see why I didn't post it on YouTube before? There was a reason that I did not post it on YouTube before. This is super bad because this is actually not where the walls are, but hear me out. What if we make 
made a fake garage. Honestly, I kind of feel as though there being a fake garage will help to split it up. We are gonna have to figure out a new solution inside, but maybe I could put like a curtain there or something to cover it. They have some big curtains, so I could just like, you know, fill it up. Or I could use a different item. We could have like, you know, that. Oh no, what is wrong with you? Okay, we could have that instead. It's the puzzle. It's it's just really throwing me off. I am not at the top of my game right now. And the worst part is that I am the only one to blame. I can't even sit here and be like, oh my God, this shell, it's so horrible. I made it. It is my fault and my fault alone. I had the chance. I could have made it better than this. And look what I made for myself instead. Just complete and total misery. Okay, well, this is kind of what I was picturing for the exterior. We have the garage. I have like some little planter boxes. I do kind of want to raise it up, but that also might be a bad idea. I don't know. A slight platform would probably actually benefit me. Okay, I don't know what to do with the roof either. Oh, I was gonna try and put a window next to the door, but look at how weird that looks. It clips. Okay, never mind. Oh my god, and in the back, I was gonna have this be the back door, but actually this should definitely be a bathroom. Yeah, in hindsight, I probably should have thought more about like which room was gonna be what because I did not, and now this is happening. Well, no, I don't think this is too bad. There's plenty of windows. It seems nice and bright. It's certainly not cute, but it was never going to be cute though, so it's fine. I like these little red flower boxes. The pretty flowers help to distract from the fact that the house is not pretty. Oh no, 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 no. The game's frozen. Stop, stop. Oh, I haven't saved a single time. <laughs> I didn't even save the puzzle. I gotta be honest, I, I didn't even put it in my library or anything. So if the game had crashed just then, we would have been completely out of luck. I know, I know it is really bad, but I did save just now. So it's fine. Yeah, that's ugly. Don't do that. Maybe it shouldn't be so neat. Is it better if the plants kind of spill out onto the path? Well, that doesn't match. And it's ugly, so never mind. <laughs> I'll get a mailbox. We have to use some debug cheats anyway, because I put a fake garage, so we can put a fake car there. And then maybe I can use some debug landscaping. These horse ranch red flowers are kind of more along the lines of what I was picturing. So maybe I'll use those in both the front and the back like this. The fenced in backyard makes a little more sense too. This is not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it's it's good. It's good enough that it can be done is what it is. So I'm gonna move on to the inside now because I have not even started thinking about that. So the staircase has to go right here. There's not really another option. I think I'll put an archway and then maybe this can be the living room. I figured I'd have a door right here. And then this part, I was thinking I would try and make into like a fake glass shower so we can put the shower in this area and then have like a toilet and a sink right here and we can have the whole thing be one bathroom. I feel like doing it like this kinda makes it seem like it's intentional. Obviously we no, we're stuck with it and we can't change it, but that's kind of cool. It looks like a real glass shower. Okay, well maybe it, it looks like the best glass shower a person can make with the limitations of The Sims 4. I don't know if it looks like a real glass shower. That might be a little bit too high of a compliment. Okay, you know what? That's honestly kind of nice. I put some clutter in here. I think the bathroom can be done. Right now, I'm kind of thinking that this should be a dining room. We don't have a ton of room to work with, so maybe the table could go up against the wall here. And then perhaps this front room could be a kitchen? I don't really like that, but it's doable. Same with this living room. Like, I don't really like this, but it does work. And then I guess we'll do a door into the garage, and this garage could have, like, a woodworking table and some storage and stuff. And then upstairs, um, maybe? Okay. <laughs> Maybe we have two bedrooms, right? There's a door here, there's a door here. Perhaps this little nook could be like an office nook of sorts. Oh, maybe I could swap this around. Hold on, let me get rid of this really quickly. Well, that's kind of bad. Like the entrance looks bad like that, so maybe not. I just always hate having doors in tiny corners like this, but I guess I can't really fix that. I'm gonna get some lovely wood floors. Okay, and then I'm picturing this little tiny spot, this one by one room. That could be like a closet maybe, because it'll be in the primary bedroom. And then this is the kids' bedroom. I don't know, this part's weird. <laughs> <laughs> this room is really weird, but that's okay. Somehow this kind of works. Like somehow it's not even actually that bad. I'm starting in the garage because actually the garage is always one of my favorite things to do in a space like this. I guess I just always find it kind of fun trying to decorate this in a useful, realistic way. So we can put some laundry in the garage. I'll probably need a hamper in here. Maybe I'll just stick that in the corner so it still functions. And then we could get like a woodworking table, maybe that decorations box from Seasons. Honestly, why not also make it an art studio? We've got the space, <laughs> we may as well add that in too. Oh, this might also be a good spot for the fire alarm thing. I never use that. I usually just let my Sims burn, so <laughs> maybe now's a good time to add one of those in. There's like a fire extinguisher decor. Oh, that makes sense. Should I put it up there? I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> this seems like a realistic garage to me. There isn't access to the outside and I also didn't put like an actual fake garage door in there. I probably should have put that, but um, oh well, <laughs> it's just a room. I'm worried about putting too much over here and then it not being functional anymore. So I'm not gonna put that much stuff by the front door. Just like a little doormat, maybe. Oh no, that's floating. Oh no. Okay, we have to be careful. <laughs> you can't put it too close or else it's gonna float. Okay, we've got a doormat. We've got some mail. I also put a bookshelf and like a thermostat in this hallway. This is not exactly a color scheme that I would normally go for. And in fact, I actually kind of hate it. This is gonna sound really weird, but the fact that I hate it is making me want to use it. This is a really weird house. So now is a good time to experiment with like different color schemes and combinations. And somehow that's actually kind of cozy. I really don't think that I'll use red in the kitchen, but we could use blue in the kitchen. We could get some cute blue tiles maybe. I feel like that looks kind of nice together. Oh, I am going all out with the fancy stuff. I'm not really worried about expense in here. I'm more interested in how it looks because this does not need to be a budget challenge, okay? <laughs> We've been through enough already. There's really only so many things a person can worry about at once. Ooh, maybe I will use the red chairs in the dining room. The red chairs with that blue wallpaper kind of match the living room. And then maybe I could just get some more china cabinet type furniture. Having debug on makes this so annoying. You have to scroll so much to find anything good. Yeah, just like a little cabinet right there. And then maybe I'm wondering if I could put some pet stuff because we do have enough space in this corner. I could maybe get a little cat tree. Ew, I don't know about that color scheme. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll use it anyway. We could do a cat tree and like a little food bowl. I think I might try to get some cute clutter on a little open shelf there too. I'm not sure how much is too much because this room is quite small. So I'm trying to be a little mindful about where I put decorations and this thing comes in the right color red. So maybe that's enough. Oh, we do also need a trash can. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. One in the kitchen and also one outside. That's probably the whole first floor done. Upstairs, we also don't have a lot to work with. So this probably won't take us that long. I'm trying to turn this area into like a proper dedicated office space because we have plenty of room right there. However, there is unfortunately not plenty of room for much else upstairs. I don't want to put anything in this area because it needs to be a walking space. So in this tiny kid's room, it's kind of a weird shape, obviously, which just throwing me off a little bit. I'm wondering if maybe I should do a similar thing with a desk nook, or maybe it could be like one of those little kids painting things. It's just such a weird tiny space. I don't really want to force them into this tiny dark corner to work on their art, but I don't know what else to put there. I'm gonna try to get some of this parenthood clutter because parenthood has a lot of stuff that helps to make kids rooms. Even having some mess makes this tiny room feel smaller, but also look more lived in. I think they should be able to still access everything in here. I think, emphasis on think because I'm not sure. Nobody's actually gonna play in this house though, right? So like, does it, does it really matter all that much? Okay, so I put a little bookshelf. We've got some mirrors. There's a little storage shelf. I think last, we just need a tiny rug and it can be really small. <laughs> we can just do like one floral rug to match the wallpaper. Maybe some little window coverings. And maybe that's the whole room done. In this second bedroom, I really wanted this tiny area to be a closet. So I'm gonna put some clothes in there. We have these little tiny closet shelves. So I'm gonna make use of them in here. Annoyingly, I don't really know where to put the bed because this is a very, very tight space. I guess I'll put it in the corner up against the wall. I don't really wanna use that bed. I just hate that bed. I tried, I did try. Oh, this kind of matches what we've got going on so far. I'm actually not so sure about that, but we can use the matching dresser and the matching nightstand. Oh, and then maybe they could have a TV like across from their bed. That's honestly kind of realistic. In real life, people have TVs in their rooms so often and I just never do that in my Sims builds. I probably should do it more, but I don't really find myself using them when I have TVs in my Sims builds. Oh, I need a litter box. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> Oh no, I'm sorry. You have to have a litter box in your bedroom. I prefer to keep my litter box in the bathroom, but welcome to The Sims 4. That's like a laser litter box, so it insta kills the poop. So your Sims won't ever have to smell it or anything, it's fine. They don't even have to scoop it. <laughs> it gets lasered away very quickly. Okay, well, I think that's the whole interior of the house done. I actually think that turned out way better than I thought it would, considering we were stuck with the existing shapes. I'm genuinely kind of impressed right now. It did take me two tries to figure it out, but on that second try, it kind of of worked. In the backyard, this is so silly, but I never use this pirate thing and I feel like I've got enough space for it here. So 
maybe the kid can have a giant pirate ship playground and that can be the whole backyard. <laughs> just the entire backyard taken up by a pirate ship. I've been trying to use some stuff that I don't use that often, like with the living room color scheme and the pirate ship is the definition of something I don't use that often. All right, maybe it's done. This worked out way better than I was expecting. I know I keep saying that, but like <laughs> I had very low expectations in the beginning there. I have made a grave mistake by not saving that room. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I didn't save it to my library. <laughs> I have to go back and get all the rooms separately now. I'm going to post these puzzle pieces on the gallery for you in case you would like to try. Don't mind me, real quick, just gonna go in and destroy all of my hard work. Okay, good as new. It's like I never made any mistakes and it was here the whole time. So if you'd like to try, don't feel like you have to, but if you'd like to, I put this up on the gallery for you. And if you wanna watch me attempt that mod shell nightmare, I can link the live stream down below. I did it a few months ago, but I post all of my past streams on my second channel called More Simsy. And I also live stream live on Twitch every single day playing The Sims. So if you wanna come hang out there, I'll link my Twitch channel down below. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye everybody. I don't know what I was thinking just starting without saving the puzzle pieces first. What is wrong with me?